Marcus Ely of Status Coup interviewed a couple of Donald Trump's most loyal supporters at Trump Stock. And obviously, you know, if you attend an event that's literally called Trump Stock, then um, needless to say, you are going to be part of his core base of support, the most loyal Trump supporters and dedicated supporters who will never leave him no matter what, period. And, you know, even though this is a really small sample size, Marcus just is going to talk to three people here in the clip that I'm going to show you. Um, it confirmed that, one, Donald Trump's support base, they're very culty. This is about his personality. Um, and they're never going to leave him no matter what. They don't care about policy. But what it also confirmed is something that is deeply disturbing. Like, the extent to which they will remain loyal and committed to Donald Trump is terrifying, quite frankly. So this is what they're going to say when Marcus asks them about the prospect of impeachment and what they'd be willing to do to defend Donald Trump. Worst case scenario, Democrats impeach Trump. And he says, I'm not, no way, I'm not leaving office. This is a fake, uh, a fake Russiagate hoax. And I'm not leaving office. Let's start a civil war. What, um, what, what would you do in that case? Okay. To me, the reality is Trump's never going to get impeached. That's all a distraction that they're creating to take the eyes off of Biden. That's not what we're talking about. I get that. So I don't see Trump as being impeached, period. But worst case scenario, I'm pretty sure I would be one of the ones. I, I got health issues, so I'd be more detriment in the front lines. But I'd be one, one of the ones that back at 110%. Um, the president has recently tweeted. Uh, about the um, about there being a civil war like fracture if he gets impeached, what do you what do you what do you as a Trump supporter um, think about that? I think the Democrats that are raising all the scandals should be tried for treason and hung from the Capitol dome. Pure, flat out, and simple. So if they want to play games, okay, they have violated their oath of office in supporting the president. They need to be hung for treason. So, they, so their oath of office includes supporting the president in all things every time. Yes. Uh, uh, there can come a time, because this, this country is fractured. I mean, it's very fractured, that uh, there's going to be brother fight against brother. Yikes. That is uh, chilling, to say the least. Because we're having these idiotic conversations about the far left and socialism and how much of a threat people like me are to America. But you just saw three Donald Trump supporters advocate for violence if Donald Trump is impeached. The first guy said that he would back a civil war 110% if Donald Trump were to get impeached. Think about that. These people purport to be patriotic. You know, they're loyal. They stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. But here he is saying, if the person who I support is impeached, yeah, I support a civil war. I support killing my fellow Americans, murdering them if they go against Daddy Trump. To say that that's demented is an understatement. There's really no way to characterize this other than pure delusion. But this is the thinking of at least a couple of Donald Trump supporters. The next guy said that the Democrats who are raising all of these scandals should be tried for treason and hung from the Capitol Dome. So he's literally advocating for Donald Trump's political opponents to be killed, to be murdered. I mean, think about this. To be delusional to that point, where you think that anyone who's against Donald Trump should be murdered, his political opponents in Congress, you have drunk in the Kool-Aid. You're, you're too far gone. I mean, think about this. Donald Trump is a criminal. He's in violation of the Emoluments Clause. There are various conflicts of interest. He's still profiting off of his businesses. You know, more than 10 instances of obstruction of justice in the Mueller report, asking foreign governments to investigate his political opponents, the Ukraine call. I mean, this man is a criminal. But in spite of all of that, they're committed to the cause, 
and anyone who's against Donald Trump should be hung. Jesus Christ. Think about this. Did you hear any Democrats during the uh, Bill Clinton impeachment proceedings, during the Benghazi proceedings, uh, investigations, call for Republicans to be hung or executed? But yet, it's the left who's the problem in this country. Yeah. And think about what else he said. He believes that, well, even though, you know, members of Congress swore an oath to protect the Constitution, well, it doesn't matter that Donald Trump violated the Constitution brazenly. They are supposed to remain loyal to Donald Trump. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh because this is uh, terrifying, but it's, um, it's crazy. What else do you do other than laugh at this? And then the final guy said, there's going to be brothers fighting against brothers because the country is divided. They're willing to resort to violence if Donald Trump is impeached. At least these people are. Now, do I believe that there will literally be a civil war if Donald Trump is impeached? No. I don't believe that that's the case. But the fact that some of Donald Trump's most loyal supporters condone the prospect of civil war in and of itself says a lot about this base of support. That they are too far gone. No matter how far to the right you shift, if you are a Democratic member of Congress, you are never going to win these people over. They have drunk in the Kool-Aid. They will never be on your side. They see you as the other. They've dehumanized you literally to the point where they believe if you go against Daddy Trump, you should be executed. I think that what this means, the implications of this are stop trying to win these people over. You're never going to win them over. They're crazy. These people are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. These are wackadoos. You shouldn't be trying to pander to them to win votes. Anyone who likes to invoke the both sides argument when you have one side fighting for social democracy and equality and health care for everyone, and this side saying they're going to you know fight in a civil war, would support a civil war if Trump was impeached. There's no both sides. Any both side argument is, you know, a false equivalence. These people are downright fucking insane. And, you know, these videos, they just demonstrate what was obvious to us. Donald Trump's base of, su of support is not driven by policy or political ideology. It is driven by commitment to Donald Trump and maybe a commitment to just owning the libs. Now, does this mean that all of Donald Trump's base of support is like this? No, because there are some individuals who are more policy-minded who maybe were in the Rust Belt and they didn't trust, you know, Democrats or Hillary Clinton, so they decided to vote for Donald Trump and they were duped by him. But, you know, this is just the segment of Trump's base that's the most vocal, the most loyal who will never leave him no matter what. Donald Trump, as he once said, could kill somebody and they'd still, you know, be committed to him. Um, I'm paraphrasing and butchering that. It's an old quote, but um, these are those people. They will never leave him no matter what. Um, so it's terrifying. You hate to see this kind of stuff, but um, this, is how, um, this is how low people are willing to go. They're willing to say, if you impeach my president, I'm 110% behind a civil war. Like... Hypothetically speaking, let's say Bernie Sanders was elected president and he was impeached. There's really no grounds for impeachment, but Republicans got two-thirds of the Senate to vote to convict and remove him from office. I would be upset, but would I condone a civil war? Of course I wouldn't. That's literally saying that I'm okay with Americans, my fellow Americans, dying if they disagree with me. Possibly family members who disagree with me politically. I'm okay with going to war with them, literally, over that. Fuck out of here. And, you know, this isn't the first indication that Donald Trump's supporters were really deranged. There was one video where um, there was a conference. I can't remember the specific details about it, but Steve Bannon attended a conference, and one of Donald Trump's supporters said, look, I never thought I'd be in support of, you know, a dictator or authoritarianism, but in the event we ever fall to a dictatorship in America, I would want Donald Trump to be the person who did it. I mean, when you see this, this is really a sign that we need to do better to educate people so we don't have people like this who are this deranged, right? If you are going to follow politics and be involved in politics, then you should be driven by a political ideology and policy goals, not 
dedication to this clown like Donald Trump. So it's sad. It's uh, pathetic, but it's not that surprising. Sadly, I wish that I could say I'm, you know, shocked by this, but I'm not actually. Girly Mike Fettuccini needs your support on Patreon. What a loser. Visit patreon.com slash humanist report to support the low ratings humanist report. Sad. My views are much higher.